Morning everybody, James Blacklaws, JB Commercial Finance here. It's Tuesday the 9th of June, I hope you're all well. Apologies for a small delay in putting videos on YouTube for a week or so. Unfortunately, I might broke my leg in several places and had to have some emergency surgery, but we're getting back to it now. So the Sybils and Bounce Back Loan Schemes continue to grow and grow. Um, the latest figures that I produced last week showed that over £31 billion worth of finance has been taken out across these schemes since um, they've been started. £21 billion on Bounce Back, £9 billion on the Sybils Loan Scheme and the rest on the Large Loan Scheme. And something that sort of occurred to me that's changed over the last few days is that if you previously you couldn't have both at the same time, and that remains the case. But if you want to clear off a bounce back loan for Sybil's loan, you can now do that. Um, so the funding circle sent a circular out that if you did have a £40,000 bounce back loan with your bank and that now you've reviewed it and that's not enough or you took it out in haste and you actually do need let's say 80 hundred thousand pounds um you can apply for a Sybil's loan and if you're approved for that as long as it's being used to clear the bounce back loan absolutely fine so a lot of people took out the bounce back loan as a, a bit of a knee-jerk reaction because it was available capital and it's cheap capital and now realize that's not going to be enough if that is the case then i strongly consider you to look at a Sybil's loan um either via a broker like myself or go directly to your bank and see what's available. And if, that, if it's cost effective to do that, there still should be no interest, so um, no interest in capital for the first year, and there still should be no arrangement fees. The interest rate will be higher, but if that's what's needed to keep your business going, then it's probably worthwhile doing that. So certainly give that consideration if you need to. We're expecting new Sybil's lenders to actually go live with their system this week. There's even one announced this morning who are finally ready to receive applications. Um, we're expecting a couple more hopefully over the next few days. So anyone who's been missed out um, from the government support, either they need more than £50,000 that the bounce back loan offers, but they've been turned down by the bank for a Sybil's loan, or they're in that position as stated previously, they've taken the bounce back loan, but that's not enough, and they may now need to apply for more via Sybil's loan scheme, then please consider putting them in touch with myself or tell them to go to their bank or someone like the Funding Circle, whatever works for them. But I'm always happy to give some free advice and take it from there. I'm James Blackwell, JB Commercial Finance. Hope everyone has a great day.